Somebody saying Jesus was a Jewish, not a Palestinian. This is a very, uh, uh, you know, ignorant statement. He is the God of the Jews. He is not a Jew. And what Palestinian? Even the stupid Quran says that Allah, he sent Jesus to the children of Israel. Palestinians. Anyway, you know, uh, people, they say silly stuff. Even Christians. Jesus is a Jew. Are you sure? Being born of the Jews doesn't make him a Jew. He is the God of the Jew. Before Abraham, I am. So the Messiah was exist before all the Jews exist. And then a silly Christian says to you that Jesus was a Jew. So he was a Jew before Abraham? <laughs> Christians, many of them, even the one who they are loving Christians, they say things without thinking. So now Jesus is a Jew. He's the God of the Jews. He's the God of the Gentile. He's the God of the whole world. Isn't it Jesus says, I was with you before the world, speaking to the Father? What Jews? But we know we are people who shallow in mind, shallow in, in vision. We can't even see farther than our finger. Seven-day advanced are not Christians, my friend. Those believe in angels, Jesus is an angel, stupid stuff. Who said to you that seven days advent, the advent they are Christians? Go investigate what they are and you will find. We don't care who reject, but Christians cannot reject Christmas. To reject Christmas, you have to reject the coming Christ. The Christ, he came to this earth. Anyone who reject Christmas, he is a false Christian. Because he reject that Jesus was born in this earth. He reject every verse in the Bible speaking about kings coming to celebrate Jesus. Anyone who joined the fight against Christmas, he is a Muhammadan. He's what? He's a Muhammadan. He's an antichrist. All those people in you in YouTube, they hate Christmas. For Christmas presents a big danger to their children. They knew Islam is empty. It's just about food and penis. Food and penis. Ahmed, I'm a 16-year-old student doing my GCSEs. Um, and my question regards uh, Dr. Naik's statement previously about saying Merry Christmas to a non-Muslim uh, makes us somehow submit the fact that, well, the idea that uh, Christ was the Son of God and it makes us one of them. Now, that sort of shocked me in a sense that um, surely Allah uh, in his uh, almightiness would know that my intention to saying to someone Merry Christmas is, as you said, just to improve relations. Now, the thing is that most people, uh, at least of my generation, the people who I come in contact with, don't actually celebrate Christmas uh, because they uh, celebrate Christ's birth, but actually it's a commercial thing to get the latest PS2 or whatever it is. Um, so. Could you just please expand on that? Because I'm sort of confused how saying Merry Christmas could uh, somehow um, bring blasphemy. The brother asked a question that he wants to wish Merry Christmas to his friend so that he can build relationships. So tomorrow he'll ask me the question, why can't I have a peg of alcohol to build relationships? Why not? Why? What's wrong? Why can't I eat some pork with them? Why can't I go to church and worship Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? See, you don't have to do anything haram for doing dawah. For reaching the goals, you cannot use wrong means, brother. What is haram for them is haram for you also. When you are wishing Merry Christmas to them, you are agreeing that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on the 25th of December, and you are agreeing that... Look, look how they manipulate the truth. You agree that the, uh, Jesus was born in 25th of December. Do you have the date of Jesus' birth, you stupid son of Muta? Let us say those who celebrate at the 25th are wrong. What about you give us the birth? Do you see how they lie? The question was, what the problem if I say to a Christian, Merry Christmas? Oh, there's a big problem. What about you go with them to the church too? What about you agree about 25th of December? Is, is that the date the problem? And not only that, he said, when you say Merry Christmas, you agree that Jesus is God. Why is Zachary saying 
by saying Merry Christmas, we agree that Jesus is God. <laughs> For they knew what a Christmas is about. As the Bible says, the Son of God is born. This is what the Bible says in Luke 1. The angels answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child will be born will be called holy, the son of God. This is their fear. They hate Jesus. Jesus destroyed their filthy kingdom, the penis kingdom. In one hand, they claim that they believe in Jesus. In the other hand, they fight celebrating the birth of Jesus, for they hate Jesus in reality. The whole idea of Islam is how to defeat Jesus. But we know that this is impossible. Very hateful cult. And the Mohammedan who says that they worship Allah and we Christians are pagans, I find it very funny. You don't even know who's Allah. Same time, you Muslim refuse that Jesus is God, yet he is a man. But your God, Allah, have a shin of a man. Have five fingers in each hand. He have two hands in the right side of him. Very defect birth. He have a face, he have an ass, and yet we believe in Allah, in the Almighty God. Okay, what this God is? Shin? So when they say to you, we refuse to worship a man, you look at their God, he is a midget. He's weird. He, he's, a, he's a defect. What kind of God? He have one shin. What happened to the second shin? He lost it in Afghanistan war. And why he have a shin? And why he will strip tease his shin? And how in the world he have a shin and he have a chest but he have no ass? Have you ever heard of a God? His he is a shin and his face on his shin. So the Muhammadan they refuse our God, the perfect God, and they accept a very weird creature. If we draw him, you will die laughing. They talk about monotheism. You have a one shin God. This is your God, shin. We say hallelujah, you say shin nunuya. You praise Mr. Shin, not Mr. Bean. At least Mr. Bean looked like a human. So in one hand, they claim that they are not pagan, but then they go and kiss a black stone. Mwah. If you remember once I recorded a chat between me and a Muslim website, I asked him, by the way, I want to convert to Islam, but I have a question. Why Prophet Muhammad kissed the black stone? Took him five minutes to answer. Go watch the video. He says, because uh, it's holy. So I asked him the question, so why it's holy? Took him another five minutes, and then he answered saying, because the Prophet kissed it. <laughs> so what, what, what? So why you kiss the black stone? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because the prophet kissed it. Well, hold on, hold on. Why the prophet kissed the black stone? Because it's holy. Okay, okay. And why it's holy? Because the prophet kissed it. That's it. That's Islam. Right? You know, the governor, he says to him, are you saying, are you the, guy, the king of the Jews? He says, you said so. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing. <laughs>